Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you a very useful feature of Reactives which is a data bind. So what you have in front of you is a, an example app that shows a progress bar and if I start it I can see that the progress bar has three components, there's the bar itself on the left, there's this percentage display here and on the right we have the ETA status. So these three components make up a progress bar and if you look at the implementation, so this is the source code of textual, what you're seeing. If you look at the implementation, you'll see that the class progress bar does depend on these three sub widgets. So there's the bar, there's the percentage status, and there's the ETA status. And what you can see is that all of these three sub widgets have a underscore percentage reactive. So this is inside the bar. Inside the percentage status, there's also one. And sorry, that was the bar, that was the percentage status. And inside the ETA status, we also have this underscore percentage. And to orchestrate all of these three reactives, because these three reactives are what determine in the bar, it, it, they, they, they determine how, how, how much what portion of the bar should be filled, on the percentage status, on the display of the percentage, it determines literally the number that's going to be displayed, and on the ETA status, this changes how the time estimates are computed. And the progress bar itself, the widget that you can import and use in your applications, you have a reactive percentage that is the source of truth. So this is the value that you can update with the progress bar methods, and then when this is changed, we publish these updates to the other three sub widgets so that they can get updated and they can display themselves properly. And the way we do this right now, as of at least textual 0.52.1, is when we're composing the widget, we're going to use the watch method on DOM nodes to create dynamic watchers. So there's a video on this feature and we're using it here. However, since we've implemented the progress bar for the first time, there was a new feature that was added, and that's a data bind. And the data bind does exactly what we want to do here, because the only reason I need dynamic watchers here is because whenever the percentage on my progress bar changes, I want to update the underscore percentage in my sub-widgets. So I'm creating these dynamic callbacks here, but I can, I can get away with a simpler thing, I just want my data updates on progress bar to be reflected on my three sub-widgets. And this is what the data bind feature is for, it lets you bind data in different widgets. So how do we make use of that? So inside our compose here we can get rid of these dynamic um, watchers and we no longer need these self.watch calls, so we can get rid of all of them. Let me just make sure that we're yielding the correct widgets, but without the self.watch. So if I rerun the example, the, the progress bar no longer works because the percentages are no longer connected. So I'm pressing S and nothing is happening. But the progress bar still has the three sub-widgets. And now what I can do is I can go over here and on mount, I can do the following. So I'll... I'll check if I have a sorry if if I have a bar sub widget and if I do I'll query it I'll query it and then I'll bind so data bind I'll bind its underscore percentage to the progress bar percentage so this is what the data bind call looks like now this is complaining because I have yes I have a different signature here so let me just ignore this for now. So this is how the data bind works. You you type in the, you find out, the, sorry, you grab the widget that you want to be connected to something. In this case, I want my bar to be connected to, and so the data bind connects my bar, and in particular, it connects the underscore percentage reactive of my bar widget to what? To the reactive percentage on the progress bar. And so if I do this three times, so now for the show percentage, I'll query 
my percentage status and I'll bind it or I'll bind its underscore percentage to the progress bar dot percentage reactive and I'll do a very similar thing for my show ETA so I'll query it um, ETA status and then I'll bind its underscore percentage to progress bar dot percentage now notice that inside the data bind method you pass in as a parameter you pass in the reactive you want to to let's say subscribe to as a class variable so i'm not supposed to type in self dot percentage i'm supposed to type in progress bar dot percentage you know if i rerun the example you can see that the progress bar still looks the same and if i press start it's working uh, regularly as it was so this is a, a very good example of a, a use case for the data bind and a final thing i want to tell you is that if the reactive on the left is the same as the reactive on the right if the name is the same you don't need to use the keyword parameter so i'm using a keyword parameter because the names are not exactly the same right because they have a leading underscore here but if they were the same i could have gotten rid of the keyword and just do something like this so i hope this was helpful if you have any questions about this feature which is still fairly recent feel free to ask them below or join the discord server and talk about this feature there ask for um, ask questions about it or propose new use cases and i'll see you in the next video bye